Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to another Fuka chapter discussion. Sorry we were off last week, but Crunchyroll was being evil and didn't update their manga. Um, so now they're caught up to both the last week's and this week's. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about, chapters 154 and 155. Um, do you want to talk about a little bit what happened? All right. Ch- I guess so. Chapter 154... It's kind of, it kind of shows off a little bit of what people ha- kind of say about Nico and Tama. It's the whole generalized, these people look bad, so they must be bad all the time. It, it, clear, it just immediately starts out with Tama, just some people are just saying, just insulting her, saying, hey, here she was doing something bad. Maybe she's doing drugs again, mm-hmm. doing something else. So let's just stay away from her. Uh, and and then the same with Nico. Same, he, with, same with Nico. Nobody wants to be really around him because of the same thing. He's a bad kid, even though they just don't want to be around anybody. Uh, yeah. That's where you, you learn about a rumor where he just one time got really pissed off at a teacher, while snapped and attacked the teacher. Mm-hmm. So it lends a little bit to a little bit to more about what kind of a person he is. Yep, and his he, cold he, attitude, which he still has now. <laughs> still course. has, but it's not nearly as bad, obviously. Yeah, I, obviously. Um, so what happened is the two decide to go to the school club, the light music club, and what's his face? The president's like, holy crap, you guys actually showed up. I didn't think you would. He's surprised that they continue to go to the practice. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, what we got? Did it. I was gonna say I think like two oh, okay. other classmates get yeah, two, ECB, like later ECB. later on in the chapter. But, well, pretty much they have a successful rehearsal. They figure stuff out. Then that's where they decide what instruments and or what parts of the band that they're gonna be, they're gonna participate with. And it, it kind of it get there's a little bit of a funny funny thing going on there. <laughs> I was about to say, where, is it Nico in the bass? Because that yeah, made me laugh. Yeah. It was that, but it was it was the whole. Tama is told, "Yeah, you've got a great voice, so you can be our singer." Also, part of that was she didn't want to do anything, because mm-hmm. picking up a new and learning a new instrument she considered to be yeah. annoying and a, pretty much a pain in the ass. Tama basically said, "I don't want to put too much effort into it, and I don't want to move." Yeah, that that made me laugh so bad. I'm like. Of course, of course, that'd be your excuse. <laughs> uh, so that was it. Was a good laugh, but then afterwards they they go to some kind of restaurant. They have some food and talk about basically the idea that you need to, they need to persist at getting better mm-hmm. at what they're doing. Uh, Tama needs to take care of her throat, so he's like, "Oh, you got to eat." certain foods you got to drink certain things you just kind of can't do whatever you want you got to take care of yourself to make your voice sound better Mm -hmm. and he just says that nico just kind of needs to put a little more effort into his bass even (laughs) though he basically made it sound like nico's a prodigy almost Mm -hmm. it's like you said you never played an instrument before but you did pretty good at playing the bass so we decide to progress Sometime in the future after that, two guys approach the club president. I'm all, we're we're going to just agree to always forget who he is. His name he should be. He should be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's going to be important. He's going to come back somehow, I bet. Somehow, okay. probably, probably the next chapter. Probably. Or the, probably. Chapter 156 based on chapter 155. But mm-hmm. we're not there. So two students appro- approach Nishibe saying, hey, you should stop associating with Nico and Tama because they're bad kids. They do drugs. They get into fights. Uh, they're sources of nasty rumors. So you kind of don't want to mess with them. And Nico and Tama happen to kind of be hanging out in the hallway when Nishibe is told this information. So they're, I'm going to guess that they, well, yeah, they do. They kind of consider walking away. Mm-hmm. And saying, "Well, crap," he's responding back as if he actually is going to 
just walk away from them and just ignore them, leave them alone. So they're getting ready to fully to walk away. Then this guy being the incredible ray of sunshine, of happiness that he is, he says, okay, I'll take it in consideration, but screw you, I'm going to do whatever I want. Yeah, we're going to do a concert at this festival, and I'm just like, oh, here we go. <laughs> Okay. So it's a concert. Oh, that's 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 great. We're gonna get a concert at some point. So that's cool. So the chapter more or less ends with, hey, we're starting we're starting our own little legend here. That we're gonna start the hedgehogs and we're gonna start it right. We're gonna become a legend, we're gonna do great. Yep. And... and then they proceed to practice. Yep. Which leads into the next chapter. Which is the concert, and they have the biggest turnout ever. Um, but before then, there is nobody there. There is uh, not a single person there, and uh, Nishibe, Nishibe is wondering, like, hey, where's your friends? I thought we were going to get your friends. We're going to get all these people here. And they're like, no, nope, we, we don't have any friends. I don't know what you're expecting. Um, so he runs off trying to get some people to join, say, hey, come to the uh, gym, and we'll we're playing music soon. Um, Tama and Nico are like, eh, we're, he's probably not going to get anyone. We probably should just leave. We thought it doesn't matter. Um, and uh, so they start walking off and uh, Nishibi runs into the same people that were telling him to get away from him. Um, as Nico and Thomas see that again, they hide again. Uh, um, and he's like, yeah, come, come and see the concert. It's going to be amazing. You don't want to miss it. And they're just like, eh, whatever. Um, but you should be big, kind of rebuttals back uh, with how oh, it, it was uh, the big they, thing where it's the, co- it's a comment that someone makes. Yeah. One of the guys says, besides, we don't want to be seen as their buddies or anything. And you should be immediately grabs his tie. Cause they're wearing school uniforms and says, Hey, take that, take back what you just said. Um, and immediately Tama and Nico, as he's saying to them that these guys are amazing. Like they're great player. Uh, like she's great at singing. He's great at playing the bass. Um, and they're just like, Oh shit. Okay. Um, maybe we should head back. (laughs) Um, so when he gets back, they're actually back there busting on saying, Hey, what took you so long? Um, and it's actually 10 minutes late. And, they're about to play, and they start playing, and it shows, like, a great picture, by the way. I love when they do this. Um, it shows them singing and playing, and it shows the whole gym, and there's nobody there. Um, and that actual panel, they actually tell you the name of the chapter, which is the concert that starts it all. And I'm like, man, that's really interesting that you went this direction of, like, their first concert was playing in front of nobody, um, which was really cool. Um, but there was some people that did hear it, and that was our three other uh, members of the band that are also forced to join against their will, um, which now I can remember her name now. Um, so, yep, of course it was... Uh, Yasan, which is not his name. I'm not going to say his name. It's, I'm so used to saying Yasan. Um, Hisashi, uh, Sarah's brother, and uh, Tomomi, which is the teacher uh, keyboard. So, um, so Kisube, Hishibe, 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 whatever, says, hey, you're joining. Cool. Um, and then I flash back to the present of Fuka being like oh my god who is this guy why isn't he around um and then Nico again kind of bringing back from what was said before where we're like well what might have happened to him uh and we get at least a somewhat answer uh he just uh Nico says he quit it was his own choice and that was that's the end of the chapter and I'm like okay now did he actually quit or did he die because of something and all this other stuff that I'm like going through my head. Um, but hopefully it was just a quit and that's why we might see him in the future eventually. Um, so 
yeah, we we got some more past stuff. I I don't know if we're gonna get any more though. I probably um, get one or two more chapters, just to see how more they get started up with all the people. I would assume probably I, there's gonna be at least one chapter talking about how Nishibe quits. Yep. Then there's probably gonna be a chapter after that where the five remaining members of the Hedgehogs are just kind of like, so what do we do? Yeah, which I can imagine this all possibly taking place in high school. I, I do think Nishibi's, uh like, head is still rolling of what everybody was saying. Like, well, I have other stuff to do. Yes, this is cool. I like doing this. We'll be a band. But he probably also thinks in the back of mind, hey, I got to do something else. and Because I don't know if it's going to go any higher. That's my prediction. I, um, even though he has big faith in him, everybody, he's that kind of guy. But I do think there might be a little bit of something that uh, prevents or stops himself from doing it anymore and going another direction. I don't think it's a band. I, like I said, I think it's like a business kind of thing. Um, but that's my prediction. All right. Um, so, yeah, next week we'll uh, talk about the next chapter as long as there's no weird day off again we never know i don't know uh since nobody actually says anything about it um also we're if you, we're trying to officially move our times to wednesdays now i've got which is when you're seeing this because i will post yep. this afterwards um but yes we're hopefully going after this day mostly because it comes out the day before so our minds are completely fresh on it that's why i was like the only thing i need was some quotes here um and because it was all in my mind i i remembered all of it uh very easily come back to the fall we might move back to a different day just because i'll be back in my apprenticeship schooling but we'll have to see mm -hmm. what's up with that i might have a tuesday thursday monday wednesday i don't know i probably won't know till september yep so we'll see maybe um, August. if anything we'll just go back to fridays again probably that worked out well um so yeah uh with that uh you can find me at the sigma omega on twitter and you can find alan at x0264 on twitter um and send us questions or something like that give us more stuff to talk about uh because i don't think we're going to go back uh to the other arcs or any other stuff like that unless it's brought up in the chapters themselves um so ask us questions ask us we already went over our favorite characters but if you want to know a little bit more why we can um things like that uh, just send us questions on twitter just say hey fuka something Something to know about Fuka, and we will talk about it on the show. Uh, I haven't really thought that much ahead. Um, so with that, though, let the voice of love take you higher, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.